Hello and welcome to this edition of Safe and Sound. I'm Bob Watts. Well, we certainly have a very interesting and diverse group of topics to share with you this month. Marty Limpert from the St. Charles County Ambulance District will tell us all about their new Rapid Access Program, and Scott Freitag, Assistant Chief of the Cottleville Fire Protection District, will tell us other things to do when we set our clocks forward for daylight savings time. We will talk later about spring building projects and construction permits, and we'll hear about tattoo and piercing parlor safety. But first, March has been declared National Nutrition Month by the American Dietetic Association. Mary Neely, health educator with the St. Charles County Department of Community Health, is here to tell us all about that. Mary, thanks for being here. Thank you. Mary, this is National Nutrition Month as declared by the American Dietetic Association. Can you tell us a little bit about the nutritional programs that are out there and available? Certainly. Most of the programs that are out there are focusing on healthy nutrition choices. And it can impact your health. Your nutrition choices can impact your health, be it if you're trying to protect yourself against heart disease, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, cancers. Many of those diseases have been linked to our food choices. So the general recommendation for good health is pretty simple, whether you're trying to protect yourself against these diseases or lessen the impact if you already have these diseases. The focus is whole grain foods, low fat dairy, lean proteins, and lots of fruits and vegetables. The way we looked at nutrition went through a major change not too long ago. Can you kind of explain that a little bit? Yes, in 2005, the food pyramid that we grew up with got a new facelift. They changed the recommendations on our fruits and vegetables. They changed our recommendation making a, a focus on whole grains instead of just any type of grain. And they also incorporated exercise as part of their recommendations. A healthy body is not just by the foods that you put into it, but it's also obtained through good physical activity. So it's not just what we eat, it's the, the actual the whole lifestyle plays a part of it. Absolutely. Your lifestyle is very important in your, your overall health. So exercise along with the proper food choices will impact your health, whether it's starting today, you're in your 50s and you think you need a change, or even if you're just um, in middle school and are just learning about food choices. Those are, um, it's never too late and it's never too early to start a lifestyle change. Now, are there some new of these nutritional programs and our education available through the St. Charles County Department of Health? Definitely. The St. Charles County Health Department has different nutrition options for anybody who is a community-based organization. We go into the schools. We have nutrition programs for the elementary school level, for middle school level, for high school level, and then also any, any organization, um, senior citizens that want us to come out, we can discuss. Um, salt with blood pressure, we can talk about uh, disease and how your general nutrition goes, or even get a little more specific and discuss like with heart disease or diabetes. Now a group or a person can just contact the uh, St. Charles County uh, Department of Health for inf information on this? Absolutely, you can contact St. Charles County Health Department and you would want to access the Education Department. And what other resources are out there for uh, someone that's looking at their nutrition and their lifestyle? This time of year we see a whole lot of uh, advertisements for getting your body ready for swimsuit season and those kind of things. And so you see a lot of commercials for Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and some of these other organizations that help you to lose weight. But for those people who just want general information on um, weight maintenance or just good nutrition, you can access the mypyramid.gov website or you can also go to the American Dietetic Association's website which is eatright.org. Mary, thanks so much for the information. The St. Charles County Ambulance District has a new program for your safety called Rapid Access. Marty Limpert has the information on that. Rapid Access is an answer to a problem that has probably um, bothered EMS providers for many years. Oftentimes we'll get somebody who either has an, a home alert button that, you know, help by falling and can't get up. They may have had a stroke and can't get out of bed, but they've called 911 or they've, their condition has deteriorated before we've gotten there. And when we arrive, we find that the doors, all, the doors are locked and the windows are secure. And we lose time walking around the house trying to find a way in. And ultimately, oftentimes we'll have to break a door or a window, the forced entry to get in the house to treat the patient. And there's a couple of problems with that. As number one is that obviously it's the delay in care. And the second part is that we've caused some damage. And if that person lives by themselves, perhaps we can't even secure that house after we leave. Or we'll try to secure it as best we can. And of course, they have to replace you know, the door or whatever window we broke. Uh, with rapid access, what it does, it allows uh, first responders, paramedics, firefighters, and police officers who are responding to that call 
to have information to access a key to get in the house. And this, basically the rapid access box is kind of like a Knox box key. The rapid access box it really just it has, has a uh, combination that has four numbers on. When somebody wants to be part of the program, they come in here, they fill out the paperwork, we assign them a number, they give us whatever number they want. We set it up and enter that number in, into there for them. Um, as, as a 911 call comes out, on, their, on the 911 screen, it'll say that the person's a participant in the rapid access program. The first responders will have that, that number. They'll go there, they'll put the number in. Um, they'll put the number in, depress it. There'll be a key inside there. They'll take the key, unlock the door, go inside, treat the patient as they leave, lock the house back up and put the key away. So there's no damage to it, plus we get to the patient in a rapid manner. It's pretty easy to install. It just takes two screws to mount. We don't install them. We have step-by-step -step directions for, for the, the homeowner to put them in, but we ask that they put it in the, by the front door in the jam between the storm door and the, um, the, 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 the main door to get in. And that way, at every house, they'd be the same. So when we're responding, we can look for them. If for some reason that it is somewhere else, because we do have a few people out there that are participating. They have wheelchair ramps to get in. It's on the side of the house. And on at those residences, it's on the, the side of the house. So, and those are in the notes as well, so we know where to find the key. The cost right now is, is $24. Uh, Lowe's has been very gracious and entered into a partnership with us, and they supply us these lock boxes, these master lock boxes, for their cost. And then we pass the, whatever that cost is on to the consumer when they come in to purchase them. Um, in the event that we do respond to a house, if they're worried about security issues, because now um, a police officer, a firefighter, and paramedics who responded, they all know the number because it came up on the computer screen. It's very simple to change. We show them how to change it. We just ask that they call us to make sure they let us know what that number was changed to so we can have it re-entered into the computer-aided dispatch system out at dispatch. Installation takes about three to five minutes at the most. It's uh, just two screws that slides off pretty quickly, and it's, it's attached to the door jam and slides right on. Um, it's a, it's a, we've, we've looked at quite a few different devices to see what would be secure over the, over the past couple months and this by far has been the best one and they're very sturdy. Um, obviously uh, there are some people who have concerns about security that well what if somebody takes this box and gets my key out. Somebody's probably going to go through all that. You know they could just break your door as well but they're, the screws go into the jam. They're very difficult to get out so it's, it's a great tool for us to, to have access to the people when nobody else is around. If anybody wants to participate in the rapid access program, they need to contact the ambulance district at 441-1354, and they can just hit zero for the operator, and they have to tell them they want a rapid access box. They have to come in personally. They have to fill out some information. There's a waiver form. We need to get their combination that they want in there. We need to set it up, go through the, how, how it's installed, and then we also give them a step-by-step -step instruction guide along with the directions as well. When we started the rapid access program, we immediately we had 75 people signed up, and that was our goal to get people signed up right away. Since that point, that time, um, through cable access and at senior centers in different places, we are now getting more and more calls. I would imagine, you know, by a year from now, we'll have several hundred people participating in the program. Thanks, Marty. We'll be right back.